like I say, the shower. Look at that. You got that. And if you want to switch it up, you got a rain shower. Uh, that is very, very cool. Either way you want it to go. And you just push the button. Ah, you get the other button. Nice. Sedona today. It's going to be a beautiful day. So you're going to like this video. just entered New Mexico a little bit ago and I had to use the restroom and uh, we go into a little store called it's a Allsup's Valero gas station and they got some bourbon here they got it with wings and that's not bourbon Wild Turkey 101 they got some bullet they got some Pendleton true western tradition Where's the Woodford? Ah, yeah, Woodford. And then this. I want to get, I've seen it a couple times, the Midnight. True Western Tradition. That's pretty cool. We're still on the bourbon hunt. Yeah. Day three, heading to Sedona. They do have a big thing of Bailey's right there too, honey. Uh -huh. But you I got your bourbon. Bourbon cream. Yeah, so. Buffalo Trace. Cool, cool. Bourbon cream. We'll try that. First. I think that's all they got here. Let's see. Get it. A small selection. Got some wine, yeah. Got a bottle of something down there in the gym. There's Jack Daniels. All right, let's get on the road.
to this little Philip 66 in Santa Rosa. Is that where we're at, Santa Rosa? I believe we are, yes. And if you remember, Santa Rosa is the town where Josie Wells and his posse, his com commune of people, ended up settling in the movie The Outlaw of Josie Wells. They went to Santa Rosa. And we're gonna go in here because I think they got some liquor. Uh, so we gotta check it out. We're still on the hunt. We didn't see much in that other little convenience store, but maybe they got something in here. This yeah. is, seems like that's where the liquor's at, the little convenience store. But we may run across a big one. Is it a beautiful day? It is windy. The Google map struck out on that. We, there's no liquor in that store. Yep. So we'll keep looking. This place has been here a long time, and our GPS says there's bourbon in here. We've been in here and never noticed any bourbon because we weren't looking for it, but uh, it is a cool little stop, so we're gonna go in and check it out. That looks like two bad dudes right there. <laughs> All right, we're striking out on uh, the locations. We've been to like three locations in New Mexico that on the GPS says it's liquor stores, but the last two had no liquor at all. They didn't even have beer. Well, they had some beer, I guess. But anyway, we're getting in the car. since I've been going back and forth out west is a Laguna burger and I am hoping that they are open let's hoping they're open hoping they're open fries uh 
they're Laguna fries and they're, they're hand cut fries. They look really good. <laughs> yep, yep. And I just tried one and they're awesome. Mm. And so, good. Laguna Burger, can't wait to put my teeth in the vat. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay. There it is. With the, it's got a little it's got sword. A little sword in it. To keep it all together. Open it up so the reveal. It. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It has hatch green chilies. <laughs> it's got red onions. It's got lettuce, tomato, cheese, <laughs> onions. The, the red onions. Yeah, it's got, oh my gosh. This could be the greatest burger ever. I'm going to try it right now. Could be. The first bite was really good. A lot of green hatch chili. Let's have one more because you can never trust the first sip or the first bite. <laughs> mm. mm, mm, mm. That's a lot of burger. I can't talk. It's a thick burger. It's thick. It's huge. And it may be the best burger I've ever had. <laughs> that is so good. Seed is gone. Here I go. My assessment. Goodness. Some good beef on burgers here recently, but this beef right here is so good, guys. We gotta get you a Laguna burger. Best advice do not try to eat that burger in your car. We managed to not spill anything, but I'll tell you what, it was a chore and because it's full of topping, I mean lettuce, green hat chilies, red onions, dill pickles, cheese, and just the beef is, that, that beef is amazing. I mean, I, I don't know where they're getting, getting these cows, but that's some New Mexico great beef. That is really good. Big thumbs up. My man here is showing us this bottle of Crown Royal. 18 year extra rare. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I do know that they only made a limited amount of bottles. It's wow. usually collectors that buy it. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm pretty sure it has to be smooth. It comes out to 159 plus tax. Um, I don't know about any other stores around here that do have it, but it mm -hmm. is an amazing bottle. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. I think we might have to get that. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put the Pendleton back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Or we can get them both, but I definitely want to get that. No, that's, we can probably that's find a, this somewhere else. That is pretty, uh, yeah, we're going to take that. <laughs> so we're going to take that. I've got some wow. fans that are Crown Royal fans, yeah. so uh, especially like Lance and Duder, Dice. Dice. So that's a, a rare find. Yes. Look, look who is going out the door. You want to grab that? Okay. I know, right? This is my Australian Kelpie. She comes to work with me every day. Nice. <laughs> she was wanting to say hi to Tina. Yeah. And wanted to escape, I think. She's like, I'm camera shy. I'm camera shy. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, Stephen here. Uh, 
runs this store and he was telling me some interesting stuff about his store. Tell us about it. Well, we've been in here, we've been here in Grants, New Mexico for 32 years. It's been a family owned business. For the most part, we have served liquor throughout our 32 years. Um, a lot of people know about Total Wines in New Mexico and different states. Here in Grants, we're the Total Wines of Grants. If you need something, you stop here, we will get it for you most definitely. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And he does have some really good bottles. I mean, I'm surprised was able, that he had this Crown Royal 18. He's got some nice tequilas as well. Calumet on the shelf. So, thanks, Stephen. Yeah, no we appreciate it. I hope to look at your, your YouTube channel. Yeah, we're, we'll you'll be up there in hopefully a week. Uh, okay, guys, this store is awesome. Yeah. And uh, it's called Discount Liquors. They've been here for 32 years, as you heard Stephen say. And they're so nice. Yes, that was wonderful. And, and it actually has some good picks, and we're walking away with this Crown Royal. Boy, what a salesman he was. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome. It was nice. All right. Steven just brought this out to me. We'd like to give our good customers a little gift to remember us. Oh, like thank Like I said, you. we're a family-oriented business. All of our customers are treated like that. That's so awesome. awesome. Thank you. So it was nice meeting you guys. We will stop every time we come through. Yes, Sounds good, sir. Guys. Thank you. Uh -huh. Casino, which is in Camp Verde, which is pretty close to Sedona, and we're just here for the night, and in the morning, we're heading on to, to Vegas, and we've had a really good day of hunting liquor, and show you the room, which is pretty nice. Look at that. What do you think, Tina? It is nice. Peaceful. It's like tranquility. It is. Very nice. Bathroom is really nice. Good size shower. And it has a toilet too. What do you think about that? Wow. And the the artwork everywhere is amazing. And this is a million dollar view, guys. Just amazing. The little lodge down there, I think that's, they just call it the, the lodge at Cliff Castle. That's the view from the uh, end of our hall. Nice. See, we're not professional stock players, so we're not ready for this. And yes, I like to watch the coins. You We need 
another few free games. Ooh, there you go. Oh, that ought to be something. Um, I think that's all we got.